hello. <sighs> it's Thursday. I know, I know, I'm not sat in a car unless I've done some drastic changes to my car. This is a bed musing. This is Kate's first bed musing. Yeah. I just couldn't do it this morning. Um, the brain pain kind of got worse and I just felt wretched this morning. It's been really hard today to kind of do anything. So I figured that I should do something um, before the day was out because that's what I do. I do Mondays and Thursdays. I can't get through a Thursday without doing some kind of random chatting shit. Oh, poo. Sorry, YouTube. Um, musing. I, it just... I've set myself up to do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to follow through, pardon the expression. So so here we have a Kate bed musing. Okay. Um, yeah, the brain traffic. It's been very hard to kind of focus on stuff today. Um, flat mood. I knew it was coming because I always do. I kind of know when I'm going to go into a gloom cocoon. I've not been messaging people back and stuff the last couple of days. Um, it's funny, actually, because I didn't message someone back who I've been chatting to. And they messaged today saying, have I said something wrong? And that's I just wanted to send them the link to my YouTube video about how if someone doesn't get back to you, it could be because they've been hit by a bus. And his first thought was, I've obviously done something wrong. So yeah probably not in the right kind of brain place there are you and when i replied back saying no i've just been sorting some stuff out been in a bit of a gloom cocoon his reply was i've had a bit of a dramatic week too i thought no no this isn't this isn't how you stop being self-obsessed even though i'm being a bit self-obsessed at the minute but that's fine <laughs> if someone didn't message me back though i'm not going to message them saying Oh, what have I done? No, no, it's it's really needy. It's it's it just it's a massive alarm bell to me now. It just shows that a level of insecurity that I don't really need to be taking on on top of my own insecurities. Do you know what I mean? You know, people need to be saying you've not heard from you a bit. You're quiet. You're right. My mum knows. My mum knows when I don't message her for a bit. She just messaged saying, everything all right? Because she knows that I just kind of disappear off somewhere into a little black hole. I was trying to explain to Josh why I'm in this gloom cocoon. I said, yeah, I, it was my two-year anniversary of breaking up with my ex um, on the 6th or the 7th. See, I'm not very good with dates. But it came up on Facebook, and I knew it was around this time because I knew it was just after Whitby. Um, and I said to Josh, I said, I'm totally over that, but it's just, I, I, it made me feel a bit reflective, that's all. It's not like I was having some kind of yearning or some kind of regrets and all this kind of stuff, like how I felt when it first happened. I just felt wistful and introspective and just wanting to be on my own I just want to run away and take myself off somewhere so yeah so that going into work and I mean the day I've had at work has not been easy um I was there quite late as well I got back and Josh bless him he'd taken delivery of my new bed yay and he'd taken it out of the box um it's called Harriet my bed the model Harriet says on the box, but it says code Ashley. So I think my bed's called Ashley because that's more gender neutral. I like that. Yeah, Harriet's a bit girly and it's pink. And I, d I don't want to go down that path. No, I think Ashley or even Harry, but Ashley is the, I like that. So my new bed will be called Ashley. I've obviously not put it up yet because the bed I'm sat in is not pink <laughs> this bed never had a name this bed was my mum's bed and she kind of gifted it to me when um 
when we moved in 11 years ago and I think I was saying to Josh it's it's not just a bed and it's it's just it's kind of symbolic I've been sleeping in a knackered bed for the best part of the last couple of years probably three years even it's it's, all, it's never been right every time I've moved it around I've got a little cupboard under the end of the bed that, that props up the end and all the slats on one side are falling out and I have to kick the edge in every morning because it kind of nearly falls to bits every time I sleep on it. It's not ideal. It's not. And my bed's supposed to be my little comfy, cosy, safe haven. And it's not at the minute. And it's almost like I think if I sort my bed out, I've got to sort my life out. It puts pressure on me. It doesn't make any sense. It's not rational. Lots of things in life aren't rational. <laughs> And the bed situation is another non-rational thing. I tend to think in kind of metaphors and analogies and all that kind of malarkey anyway. If you've heard any of these videos, you'll know that I, I kind of riff off in my head about analogies and thinking of things in certain ways and seeing messages and things. So the bed is, yeah, it's a symbol. And I know that it's gonna, there's going to be a big change. I can sense it. I can tell that things are going to change. And that's a good thing. I think they are going to change for the better. But I am actually... I've got into a like happy rut. A happy, single, doing my own thing. Life isn't perfect. There's lots of things that I could change. But let's just leave things be because I'm actually alright as it is. But I do want them to change as well. And... That's kind of scary. It doesn't really make any sense. You know, I've just noticed that I'm holding my camera like I'm driving in the car with me on the right hand side. And look, there's no passenger like in my car. See, that's kind of symbolic too. Is that better? Maybe? No. It just seems wrong. <laughs> I do have a passenger in bed anyway. Do you want to meet my passenger in bed? Okay. This passenger in bed comes with me everywhere. This passenger in bed has been to Norway this year. This passenger in bed... Did I take... No, I don't think I did take him to America. Am I... No, I don't think I did. He, he goes... Basically, if I can fit him in a suitcase, even if it means chucking some clothes out, then Billy Banzer comes out comes with me and I cuddle him in bed every night and look at the state of him he really needs a wash but I can't bear the thought of him being in the washing machine or being like somewhere drying for a night and me not being able to have him in bed and his legs are all wobbly like hello and I just love him I got him I got him from Liverpool from the Disney store about Probably about four, three, four years ago. First time I'd ever been to Liverpool. And I took my ex on like a birthday surprise trip to Knowles' Safari Park in Liverpool. And I ended up getting myself a present because why not? I'm an awesome girlfriend. Well, I was an awesome girlfriend, so <laughs> I deserved it. I went in the Disney store and they'd only just kind of started doing Star Wars stuff. And I didn't even know that Bantha Cuddly Toys existed and I just saw it and it was like insta buy <laughs> so yeah so I got my little Billy Bantha and he's like my best bed friend so yeah so whoever wants to share my bed next will have to have a fight with Billy Bantha yeah put him up put him up <laughs> he, he, he may look a bit soft and he may look like he's he's kind of a bit stoned but yeah don't, you don't want to get on the wrong side of Billy Bantha Seriously, no. Don't mess. <laughs> oh dear. See, you're getting the other end of Kate now, the other side. You're getting the tired and making no sense because it's the end of the day rather than tired and making no sense because I've had to get up early and I've had no coffee. I've had, I've had coffee today. <laughs> oh dear. Obviously not enough, but hey. But anyway. It's very close to being Friday now. Very, very close indeed. I can almost taste it. That's good. 
So I'm very, very excited about the weekend because Saturday is bed day. So on Saturday, oh, I've just noticed my mirror's wonky. Oh, I'll have to straighten that before I go to bed. Mm, yes. Anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, so Saturday is bed day. Now, I'm off out tomorrow night for cocktails, so I'm going to try not to get too drunk, and I'm going to try and have some water when I get back. It'll be a last train jobby, which means there's damage limitation there, which means I should be back home and in bed, well, back home anyway, by about you know midnight or something. It's not going to be a, a kind of four in the morning job, so I need to drink lots of water. So, yeah, I might have to write that on the notice board and get Josh to remind me when I get in to drink lots of water and have some full fat coke in the house ready for tomorrow for tomorrow Saturday so that I'm not hung over and don't want to put my bed together because Saturday I've got a whole day where I don't have to do anything and I want to do my bedroom yes I want to get this bed sorted out and yeah I've, Saturday night I want to go to sleep with my new unicorn bed in and my lovely pink bed and think this is it now this is the start of my new life my new chapter in my life with my new bed 11 years is a long time I'm not very good at letting go of things I think that's the problem 11 years in, in this bed that's the longest relationship I've ever had other than like with Josh and my family you know, the 11 years with the same bed. It's, it's a long time. It's a long time, man. It really is. So, yeah. So, this is like my penultimate night in this bed. And it kind of makes me sad. So, anyway, I've waffled on even longer than if I was driving to work. So, I'm going to let you go. Um, and I'm going to go and enjoy my bed. For not too much longer really so I will see you on Monday I'll give you a report on the new bed shall I yeah I will if I got yeah I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how I get on with the new bed I'll let you know if I actually do assemble it I'll let you know how hungover I am when I do so and um, yeah it'll, it'll all be grand so enjoy your weekends whatever you've got planned okay if you're feeling all down and stuff, that's fine. It's obviously not fine, but don't beat yourself up about it. You're allowed to feel down sometimes. And your moods can change. If, if, you might, if you've got a positive mindset, you just need to ride it out and know that you'll come through the other side with a smile on your face. And possibly a new bed. And... If you need something to tide you over, you need to get something like Billy Bamfer. Because he kind of keeps me sane. And, yeah, people have laughed at him. But, yeah, but look at you. <laughs> He's my dude, my main man. Anyway, I'm going to go now. So, goodbye from me, goodbye from Billy Bamfer. And I'll see you on Monday. Bye.